Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with our Quick Tune feature. Our Quick Tune is going to allow us to quickly build out and tune our main field table. Now we looked at the mixture map and we found that that is another way we can go about and populate and tune our main field table, but the Quick Tune feature is actually gonna be a little bit faster and uh, it's gonna be something that I implement quite often in my tuning procedure. It's gonna really speed up your main VE table tuning uh, if you do it properly. So I'm gonna be walking you through all the things you need to know in order to implement your Quick Tune feature and you can populate and tune your main field table very, very quickly and very efficiently. So without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at our Quick Tune feature in our link software. Now the quick tune is going to allow us to tune our main field table very, very quickly. It's gonna be comparing, looking at our actual wideband that we're reading, we have calibrated and set up into our link. It's gonna be looking at our target air field table that we're gonna be programming. Now it's going to look at the difference between what our target and actual is, depending on where we're operating at in our main field table, and it's gonna be making adjustments for us. Now there's gonna be a whole bunch of other parameters and details that we have to go through in order to make this work, but we're gonna be finding we have a manual mode and then an automatic mode. Now in the manual mode, we have to go in and constantly update the map manually. In the automatic mode, it's going to be an auto-tune feature or function. Now I use this to do my main field table tuning because it simplifies things so much and it makes it so much quicker to populate your fuel table when you're getting everything set up. Now we have to create a custom page. I'm gonna be walking you through what you need to know in order to use this in your main field table tuning. Now when we get into the live training videos with Link, I'm gonna be demonstrating how to calibrate the main field table using this quick tune feature. It is extremely fast as long as you're able to hold the engine at a fixed engine RPM and sweep the load. Now I'm able to do that on my chassis dyno. You are able to do that if you don't have a chassis dyno available. You're gonna to have to be a little bit more diligent about how you're gonna be applying the load to the engine. Now it still can work if you're simply gonna be driving around through the fuel table, but I'm gonna be showing you some things um, and, and some reasons why you'd wanna hold it at a particular RPM and then sweep the load. So we're gonna be going over that. So the first thing we need to do here is create a page dedicated for using this quick tune feature. So I'm gonna jump up here and right click new page. I'm gonna be calling this quick tune, click okay. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is jump into ECU settings here. I'm gonna jump into fuel. I'm gonna add my fuel table one. I'm only having one main fuel table for this particular tune that I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this. I'm gonna just bring this up here in the top and then we'll expand it out. And then we're gonna be locking it in place here. So let's get this expanded out here. Okay, and let's just scoot this guy over here and lock the window. Now the next step here is gonna be adding a whole bunch of big gauges that are gonna be really, really easy to see. I am not interested in kind of pouring through any data logs in this particular window that we're creating here. This sole purpose of this particular window is going to be to allow me to tune my main field table. So I am going to ignore everything else. Now, I wanna say this before we get any further and I, I possibly forget. The quick tune feature is going to require that you run your link in an open loop format. So we're not gonna be using the closed loop oxygen sensor fe feature we're gonna be using um, we're gonna find we have that short term uh, correction trim where it compares the target versus the actual and then it makes its own adjustments and it constantly as you drive around it's going to be um, trimming the mixture. We need to turn that off. This needs to have no closed